It is over. I, Alan H. Kittleman. I, Alan H. Kittleman. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the duties of county executive. Execute the duties of county executive. For Howard County, Maryland. For Howard County, Maryland. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. We'll be here all night because I'm going to speak a little longer. Um, I was in the Senate for 10 years, and we really never got to filibuster. Um, so I'll do the best I can tonight. Um, also, Wayne, how in the world do you memorize all that? I, I think, I mean, I'd be reading out of a note card or something. Um, anyway, thanks for being here, folks. And first, I want to congratulate each and every one of the council members on your election, and I look forward to working closely with each of you. I sat in your seat for six years, and I know the importance of having a good working relationship between the county executive and the county council. And I commit to doing everything in my power to ensure that together we make Howard County an even greater place to live. And I mean it, I really do. To County Executive Ken Allman, I wanna thank you for your service to Howard County. We only served for a couple of years together on the County Council, played a little basketball with Chris Merton. But I have appreciated working with you both on the Council and when I was in Annapolis. Ken, I wish you and your family all the best, and I look forward to seeing where your future leads you. Thank you. And I don't know if she's here, but I also want to acknowledge and thank Councilwoman Courtney Watson. Not sure if you're here, but our families. No. Um, is she there? Oh, okay. Good. Our families have known each other for decades. And your family has meant so much to Howard County. So Courtney, Howard County is a better place because of your service. And I'm sure that you too will have much more to contribute. Thank you very much. <laughs> now Glen High School is a very special place to me. I may be an Appleton High School grad like Courtney, and there's still some green and white that flows in my veins but I'm extremely proud to be Glen L. Dad. My children have attended here, and my daughter Haley teaches here right now. And this auditorium is where my father's memorial service was held just 10 years ago. And those young men who were up here from Hopkins United Methodist Men's Chorus sang that very same song that night. So it's especially significant for us to be here too. You know, as the author Alex Haley once said, anytime you see a turtle on the top of a fence post, you know he had some help. <laughs> and if you know me, you know I had some help. Um, while I'm standing up here tonight, I certainly did not get here by myself. We ran a great campaign that reached hundreds of thousands of Howard County residents Many of you in this audience graciously gave your time and talent to our campaign, and I will forever be grateful. 
If I start naming folks, we could be here all night, and I would end up missing somebody. And so for now, I just want to say thank you. And I also want to thank those who have agreed to serve on our transition team because you're going to help us make all the difference in getting this new administration forward. I also want to thank the Howard County voters, Republicans, Democrats, and independents who put their trust in me. I can assure you that I will never put politics ahead of what I think is right or what is best for Howard County. You deserve nothing less. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge my family. As I've said many times, this was truly a family effort. I want to especially thank my mother and stepfather, Sue and Dave Sachs, for traveling from Arizona to be with us this evening. Thank you, Mom and Dave. I also want to say hello to my sister Jenny out there. She lives in Beijing, um, but this is being live streamed. So maybe, Jen, you know, maybe tomorrow morning you're watching this. So, uh, so hopefully you're doing that, and I love you too. And also thanks to my stepmother and delegate-elect Trent Kittleman and my stepsisters Heather Mitchell and Samantha Regal. If they're here, thanks. <laughs> now, we live on a family farm not too far from here, and I live next to my sister on one side and my brother on the other. 95% of the time, that's good. <laughs> um, no, nah, but seriously, Laura and her husband Tom, who are here, and Cody and his partner Sarah, have always been there when I need them. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for everything. And then what, do I, what can I say about Robin and our children? You know, this always happens to me. When we did our announcement, Haley introduced me, and she stole the show. And then Robin introduces me, and she steals the show. Um, and I look up here stupid. But, um, but I, all I can tell you is three of our children are here tonight. Robbie's in James Madison University down in Harrisonburg, hopefully watching online. I'm not sure Robin realized when she married into the uh, political family that what she was going to get herself into. But she took it in stride. Couldn't have asked for a better partner. Um, now, Robin and Haley and Mary and James and Robbie, wherever you are, um, you've all put up so much during this campaign. Later skipped dinners, numerous meetings and events, door knocking and literature dropping. It wasn't always fun but you're always there for me, supportive and upbeat, loyal and true. I hope I can always do the same for you. I love you. Um, yeah. You thought that was hard. This is harder, folks. Um, and there's, there's another thanks, which if you know me, you've heard before, but it's never far from my mind. I also want to thank my late father, Senator Robert Kittleman, who taught me, uh, who taught me the very best way there is by example, by, mentor, by being a mentor and serving as a role model before those terms were even invented. Dad was a good man in all the most important ways, and most of all, in how he treated others. He believed in equality for everyone and freedom for all. And he instilled those beliefs in me, and I will carry them with me as I serve as county executive. Um. Well, folks, the campaign is behind us. It's time to act, not hastily or without due diligence, but forcefully and purposefully to achieve our goals. I intend, without hesitation, to keep education and public safety as our number one priorities and to do everything in our power to help every student achieve to be the top of his or her potential. It's not an easy task, but not impossible either. We need to work together on a 24-7 education plan that includes our schools but reaches beyond them to every home and every family. And I look forward to working with the members of the Board of Education and Dr. Foos. Thank you for being here.
We are also fortunate to have very dedicated individuals who serve Howard County in our police, fire, and corrections departments. I am committed to providing them with the resources necessary to ensure that each and every resident feels safe and secure in their community. And to those in the business community, I am looking forward to partnering with you to help expand economic development. The downtown Columbia plan is crucial. However, we must not forget that we have many other areas in Howard County where we can also enhance economic development opportunities. We face, thanks. We face cha additional challenges in housing, mental health, transportation, just to name a few. I am anxious to work with stakeholders from across the county and state to address these and other issues in a collaborative manner. And that brings me to my last point. Our administration will be inclusive, ensuring that everyone has a seat at the table. In order to make wise decisions, it is important to see issues from different perspectives. As iron sharpens iron, vigorous public debate is essential in developing strong public policy. Such debate will be welcome in our administration. Over the years as an elected official, I've had the opportunity to speak to hundreds, probably thousands of Howard County students. And I've often asked them to answer this question. And if you came to any of the campaign events, you heard me say it over and over. I'd ask them, who is my boss? Oftentimes they would say something like the president or the governor or whatever. And then finally, one, little, one young student would stand and say, we are. And I'd say, yes, you are. So in closing, I want you to know that I will never forget that you, the citizens of Howard County, are my boss. I will value your... I will value your trust more than any possession in the world, and I'll be working my hardest and doing my best to make sure I earn it each and every day. I can't wait to get started. Thank you.